Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we have a new update for Redmi Y2. If you guys are not aware, then we have got a new device for a tech family and in which we'll cover all the custom rooms along with official updates for the same device. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, then do consider subscribing and also make sure to hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So without further ado, let's take a look on the new update. And out of this box, the device was running MIUI 9.5.6 which was based on Oreo 8.1 with the security patch of 5th May 2018. And today we received an update of MIUI 9.5.14 which was around 1.3 GB. That's a stable version where we still have to wait for MIUI 10 for the same device. So if you guys have not received the system update, then just wait for few hours. You should have the update available in the same about phone section. Talking about the change logs, there were not much of changes available going to what's new and here you can see they say optimization under photo performance and few other optimizations have been done. I am not sure why the size was 1.3 GB but normally Xiaomi does not reveal the complete change logs for their devices. Since the day I had this device, there were lots of issues which I used to face which were related to battery drain, slow fingerprint and face unlock. Also, I found little bit of lags in full screen gestures. So those things we'll cover later. First under change logs, they say photo performance. I'm not sure exactly what they are referring to. So I have few photos taken after updating the device and there were no noticeable changes which I found. Maybe some optimizations have been done. So these are the few photos which I have taken. You guys can take a look on them. Portrait pictures with front and back camera were really good with respect to an budget device. And now let's take a look on the fingerprint sensor and face unlock feature. And the fingerprint sensor is working great. It is a little bit faster than the previous one. In the previous update, sometimes the device failed to recognize the fingerprint. And now it has been optimized very nicely. You can see I just have to touch the finger and the device gets instantly unlocked. So now let's move to face unlock feature. Let's add face data. Okay, the face data has been added. Let's lock the device. And here also face unlock is pretty fast as I'm also sitting behind the camera which is taking little bit of more time to recognize the face. But under face unlock I did not find much of improvement. Now moving on to the full screen gesture. And as you can see I've already said previously there was a delay when I used to swipe up or if I'm going back from any of the application. And now you can see there are no delays and the full screen gesture is working perfectly fine. Battery life was not that great on the previous build. We'll check on this build and I'll update you guys by today evening. You can check the pinned comment in the comment section below. Now let's take a look at the benchmark results. Going with Geekbench application and on this build the device scores 825 in single core wherein multi core scores 4328. Talking about the previous build in that the device scored 847 in single core wherein multi core scored 4362. Pretty much same there is not much of difference in Geekbench application. Going with Antutu Bench application, on this build the device scores 7750 but on the previous build the scores were 77320, little bit higher on this build. So guys as of now only this much in this video, if you have any kind of questions do let me know in the comment section below and hope you like the video, if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up, also if you are new to my channel then do not forget to subscribe to the channel, thanks for watching, have a great day.